Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Fire Emblem Three Hopes and uh, we're going into the final mission of Chapter 6, Bridge of Betrayal, the great, uh, the great coup of Murden. Count Burglies and his troops have been trapped behind enemy lines in Leicester. Racing against time, you strike out to capture the Great Bridge of Murden and mount a rescue. Let's get in there. Let's do this, Chapter 6. We'll reach the Great Bridge of Murden soon. Houses Phlegathon and Gloucester are defending it, just as we anticipated. Even the name Phlegathon is like the worst name imaginable, so it just it just makes sense that that guy is such a sniveling, gross person. <laughs> but Ladislava has done her job and broken through the enemy line for us. I intend to claim a swift victory and return her to us whole. If possible, the members of House Gloucester are to be taken alive. As we discussed previously, killing them will jeopardize Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively. If any enemy commanders appear open to persuasion, try to convince them to surrender. Our goal here is not to utterly annihilate our foes. The fewer casualties, the better. That said, anyone who refuses to submit must be struck down without mercy. I know when to catch and when to kill. I am often being faced with such decisions on the hunt. You, you expect me to make that kind of decision in the heat of battle? You just do what you always do, Bernadetta. If it's all right with you, I'd prefer to focus on the diplomacy part. I'm not much for bloodshed. Then you may leave that part to me. I will happily deal with any soldiers you cannot. It should be a simple enough matter to determine which of our enemies wishes to live and which will choose the way of death. We'd better not misjudge anyone, or else our lives will be the ones in danger. Then we should fight first and ask questions later. When in doubt, take them out, am I right? We can sweat the small stuff when the battle's over. Until then, I'll do what I do best. I don't know, man. I have such a hard time with these scenes now. Just like... I don't know. When you don't support Edelgard's war, it's hard to watch them be so flippant about stuff, you know? It just... Oh, it rubs me the wrong way. I'm struggling with this, guys. I, I really am. We should all do what we do best. The, write, we do, the writing just takes it a little bit too lightheartedly. And it just... Settles. It, it must Victory read so different for people thing, who are on so Edelgard's side, you know? <laughs> then, if everyone is prepared, let us show them the might of the Empire. Okay, defeat Lorenz and, uh, and Count Gloucester. And Ladislava is routed, so we need to protect her. Fair enough. Okay, build a bridge over there. Seems like it might be good. Holy crap, we have a lot of people to persuade in this one. Okay. So let's see, it would take three of those and then we could build the bridge still. Begin the battle in an offensive formation. Sign healers, stronghold sabotage. I think this is the one that makes the most sense. Just persuade across the board and build that bridge. Okay. Okay, who has our bonuses? Monica and Constance. Two. Let's see, you're in a Dark Knight class come. right now. I think we can make that work. I actually think that... Um, with you, your magic stat hasn't been growing all that well. I feel like Monica, and it's it's partially probably just because of what classes I've been putting her in, but... Um, yeah, I wonder if she's designed to sort of, like, kind of toe the line between strength and magic or something. I don't know what her growths look like, but... 
Uh, we'll bring Monica in as a Dark Knight. Try it out. And we probably won't be bringing in both, though. Um, you're not actually that useful in this current class, so maybe we'll actually do Constance instead. Because then at least we're covering some bows, you know? Okay, that helps with that a little bit. Let's see, we currently have it um, sorting by... Yeah, might. Okay, so yeah. Whatever their highest might is going to show up at the top. Silver shield. Yeah, yeah, straight defense, because you'll have some natural resistance already. Okay, we probably want to bring Edelgard for uh, dealing with some of the lances. Follow me, soldiers of the Empire. So we're going to have some mounted units. We have a duty So Ferdinand with Spear of Assault could be really, really good. We could also bring in Monica and give her the Spear of Assault and make her effective, because, yeah, that, that could work, actually. Let's do that. That makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah, there we go, and then we can get our bonuses, too. You've got a charm ring on right now. Sure, why not? And uh, since you're going to be going up against who exactly? A bunch of other cavaliers. Okay. You'll be very effective against a lot of units there, Monica. You're effective against the same group, so we don't necessarily need Edelgard anymore, really. So what can we do? We need somebody who can take care of um, brawlers. That's what we need to fill. I will prepare so Hubert can do that, path. yeah? No. Who can... Bows can take care of brawlers, right? So, Bernie. Why can't you just let me stay inside? That might be our team right there. Okay, you got your best bow, good. So I think we're good. What am I doing? I need my backup units. Am I they stupid? The answer to that is yes. Yes, I am. Nope. My bad. So who do I want to bring in? Okay, we got a bunch of people around level 13 and 14. Kneel before her majesty. Follow me, soldiers of the Empire. I don't care much for battle. So be it. You should be fine. They 
starting the mission. Let's see. I'm gonna have you go with Here Monica. Go. No mistakes. I'll provide some. Protection. Why have I forgotten all the buttons to we do everything in this game right now? Oh my gosh, it's only been a Here week. Here I go. No ZR. Mistakes. There we go. It seems you could <laughs> use some help. Oh, if I must. Right then. Let us go to work. Shall we join hands in battle? Starting the mission. You might make a- Oh, if I must. This should be easy if we work together. Just do as I- I shall take it from here. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Not a problem. I've got this. Order round with these defenses. Count Gloucester must be located on the far bank. Vladislava is holding the central checkpoint. We'll mount our attack from there. The checkpoint is our key to taking the Great Bridge. Without it, we have not even a slim hope of victory. Her Majesty is counting on me, and I will not let her down. Your punishment! Okay, defeat the Brawlers and aid Ladislava. So let's see, do we have any paths forward? No, so we've got to... I don't know if beating him will open that. Aren't they... So these are base captains, but aren't they called gate captains if they open the gate? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. All right. I have her surrounded. Time for a rescue. Get the stuff. If we rush in heedlessly, we'll be trapped along with... We must secure the rock as we go. Okay, seize the strongholds and secure the route to Ladislava. You got it. Have a safe place. I will gladly handle this to retreat to. Let's see, where is to recognize I will gladly handle orders received. I've got take a breather. And the enemy has been a suspiciously fucked in the past. As urgent as it is to retake the checkpoint, I believe the last should be dealt with first. Out of the way! Not a problem. I've got this. It's Bernie's time to shot! Sure hope this goes okay. Hi! Here I go! Alright! More of that, please! Look to the west. I'm thinking there is something happening. We're almost to the checkpoint. Keep going. Okay, now you need to go and take that. I will let's mark. I will gladly orders received. Okay, about the spirit at the checkpoint. Not so fast. If you want through, you've got to open those purses and pay the toll. Of all the irritating places to lay an ambush, this man is a mercy. Perhaps offering a reward will allow us to avoid a fight. Fire! Rain arrows down on their central forces! Tremble before me! I expected such a trap. We should have sent soldiers west to deal with it. Okay, so that one changed. We don't need this anymore. So you go ahead and go after him while we deal with you. <laughs> Looks like you'll be my first real challenge in ages. Now let's dance. He was a brilliant salvo. Our enemy clearly possesses a gifted officer among the ranks. Gifted? Wait, are you talking about me? 
Okay, there we go. Chose to be it's Bernie's time to shine. Hi, here. here I go. And I'm going to fight the Empire to the end. Let us go. Ready, are you? Then just surrender. Besides, you're a clever man. You know the Empire won't let someone as strong as you rot in a cell. Watch my back. <laughs> Nothing can stop us! Behold! Yeah, I guess you got a point. Okay, I think that takes care of the, um, ballista, right? Is there anything else we need to do with that? Do I don't I think so. Plan. You I go and deal with that. And then you guys go and help Lotus Lava. Uh, you can just follow Bernie for now. Um, okay, there's nothing going on here. I will gladly handle this. So you can follow Bernie too. I am here to aid you. If I go up here, can we just make that bridge? Eh, there's not really much of a reason to until we can get the key anyway, so. you keep living. I mean, things like this tend to have a way of working themselves out, you know? I guess so, but... All right. I surrender. The arrows have stopped. Let us proceed. My thanks. Mind taking it from here? Rest, Ladislava. This is a great achievement. You honor me, Your Majesty. May victory be yours this day. Now we can fight on even footing. There's the guy. There's the Phlegathon. Those are my lands at the other end of this bridge, and you lot are not welcome. Phlegathon, another name for a wet fart. Okay. So let's see, who's going to be effective against them? God, is it you? No. Ooh, no, everybody's kind of bad. All right, maybe problem. you go after him for now. Is a fool even by alliance standards. Let us do them a favor and introduce him to an early grave. Listen up, Rose. I need to get rid of whatever that top one is. I don't even know what it does right now. Some kind of buff or debuff. They have our supplies. We must smite them before they can. It's Bernie's time to shine. Okay, go get him. Okay. I will gladly you still this. can't go after anybody useful, so I just stay away from you. these people who are really effective against you. Take Take a a Arrows are raining down on Ladislava. We have to stop them at the source. You got my back. All will perish. <laughs> we'll do it together! <laughs> I've got you now! I should have switched sides <laughs> when I had the chance. <laughs> what a sniveling coward. Oh, God. Okay. Not a problem. I've got this. I'm ready. What I'm on is done for. Grab the goods and head for the hills. Steady, Monaco. 
I will gladly handle this. Um, what? What was our side mission? I wasn't even paying attention to that, I guess. Seize the Western Strong, stop the Alliance Army scheme. Okay, whatever. I, I'm i apparently failing a bunch of things, doing them in the wrong order, but I really don't care that much. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes. I will gladly handle this. All right, seems like things have opened Orders up. Received. Good. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Um, there's actually no reason for me to go back that direction, is there? I will gladly Not until that this. bridge is done, so you may as well start Orders heading received. up this way. Um, you're doing practically nothing down here. Is there any reason for you to just be down do here? Not I really. Planned. So I think you just need to come I up and follow somebody. Support. So, they've taken the Great Bridge, have they? That makes us the Alliance's last defense. There must be a way to resolve this matter without further blood, sir, Father. I guess it's now or never. An unnecessary level of violence from Bernie here. <laughs> no worries, Goodbye. But I think these are like the last brawlers on the map, so we may as well, while she's effective, I guess. Our first priority is to find Calvin. I wonder if I do go over there if I can build that bridge. I don't know. I still need to get that chest, so we get we have the key now. Orders received. He was on our side once. There is no telling where the enemy might be left. We have no choice but to seize control of the entire bridge. Okay, uh, we'll send Shez to do that. Actually, that's not even that far away. We'll just send you. Not a problem. I've got this. Okay, you go that way. It's the rest of you shine. follow you her as she tears through this <laughs> through these next we couple areas. God, this weapon is so good. Yeah, 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 I got it. What about the supplies we recovered? We can use those to construct a bridge. We didn't even collect the supplies because we failed that side mission, so that line doesn't even work. This stronghold will fall! I will gladly handle this. Okay, you're gonna go after him next. We are gonna jump here. And you're gonna go get that chest. Those are Gloucester lands you see beyond me. And I will not suffer one heel of your boots to sully them. Yeah, that's too late for you, bro. I'm sorry. Secure. Now we not a problem. Move out. Need only capture the enemy commander. No distractions. Oh, that was a heal? 
Alright, I'm gonna have to look at my skills a little bit closer. My bad. I don't even know what's equipped half the time. <laughs> Stepped into my tra- oh, he dodged it. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Say goodbye. Steady, Monica. You care about me. My, I'm more wounded than I realized. Enough. Stand down. Count Gloucester will soon be in our custody. Further resistance can serve no purpose. Okay. Order. At this point, so I think it. it's just you, my man. I am no use to my people. I will not shame my people by surrendering to you without a fight. Well, if I die, I kind of feel bad for Lorenz. I'm pretty sure that we're going to kill his dad here in a minute. Either in this fight, or he's going to be put to death afterwards. Can't help but feel bad for the guy. I don't like his dad very much, but Lorenz is an okay dude. Lawrence, no! Monsters, how dare you hurt my son! Count Gloucester will not concede so easily now that we have damaged his precious heir. Um, I think it's a little bit late for that. <laughs> I think something else was about to happen, but I, I think we killed no him too fast. Your Majesty. All of House Gloucester bows to your will. Interesting. I think he probably got a like attack buff or something. Is ours. But, but we killed him too fast. The first step of our rescue. Right you are. We need to relieve our allies who are embattled on Alliance lands. Okay, stage complete. Um, I wasn't really going for S rank. I'm not gonna be hunting S ranks anymore. We'll just get them if we get them. But this is no time to rest easy. There's a lot more work still to be done. Agreed. We will leave some troops here with the wounded to hold our position. Then take the reconsolidated force north without delay. Sadly, there can be no victory celebration until we have extricated Count Burgleys and the others. Based on our projections, they will run out of provisions at any moment. We can also assume they know we have made it to Gloucester, meaning they will be waiting for us. But each hour they wait is another hour their stomachs remain empty. If we peel away House Gloucester's troops, we can create an opening in the enemy ranks. Once that's done, we'll bring an end to Claude's shady scheme. Don't you be casting aspersions. Yeah, man, on these it's always going to be the enemies defeated. <laughs> the number for, like, final missions for enemies defeated is always, like, astronomically high. Seems like fighting's all... I shall have... I think holding A should skip these as well. Alright, a bunch of people we will never use. That's gonna be a theme. Interesting. It seems the Empire may not want our heads on pikes after all. That is good news. I was concerned they might be so upset as to seek your execution. Okay, they didn't. Good. We don't have to feel so bad for Lorenz now. But based on their posturing, it seems those fears were groundless. Well, I am an effective lord, if I do say so myself. Now, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm assuming that if we did not persuade Lorenz and killed him, that things would have turned out very differently. We probably would have killed Lorenz, and we probably still would have killed Count Gloucester as well. Is that true? Let me know. 
They must realize taking my life would make it difficult to keep order on my lands. Few lords anywhere in Fodlan are as loved and respected by their people as you, Father. Perhaps. But if so, that only makes my misjudgment all the more grave. I never should have let that man cajole me into starting such a needless fight. You say that now because we lost, but would your appraisal not be different in the face of victory? The people would have idolized you for ushering House Gloucester toward even greater prosperity. Questions of what if matter little after you lose a battle, and even less after you have misled your people. The time to judge the right and wrong of things is before, not after. It is for this reason that I have decided to yield command of our house to you. I only pray you might walk us back from the terrible misstep I have made. It's probably the right move, honestly. Besides which, the Empire still views me as a traitor. If I fail to step down now, I will spend the rest of my days wondering when the axe might fall. It's I, the right political move. I understand, Father. It's pretty smart. With all that has happened, it is hard not to see the wisdom in your decision. I will find a way to build a newer, stronger House Gloucester alongside the Empire. And just as it did before, our house will shine brighter than any in Leicester. Thursus. Cool. Probably won't see much use, but... Gloucester has yielded his lands and titles to his firstborn son, Lawrence. But who knows, maybe. Maybe we actually should use Lawrence in this uh, playthrough. Let's, uh... We'll have to take a look and see if he has a lot of uh, support benefits through the, the, the Black Eagles. If he has a bunch of supports with them, he may end up on main team here with us. This new Count Gloucester has expressed a desire to join the Empire. No doubt, he wishes to make his loyalty plain by taking a clear stand against House Regan. Well, I see no reason to reject his offer. See that his soldiers are properly integrated. As you wish, Your Majesty. Sometimes I have no idea what goes through your noble heads. How can you possibly trust a house that just plunged a knife into your back? If a merc pulled a stunt like that, they'd either be cast aside or cut down where they stood. I believe it, and I'd like to do the same. But not just anyone can hold Gloucester territory together, and I have no one else to take Lawrence's place. Retort sarcastically. Any chance I get to, like, bite at Edie, I'm gonna take. I'm sorry, guys. All right. I forgot that only mercs are replaceable. I did not think your feelings would be so easily hurt. Regardless, that's just the way of things in Fodlan. But as I've told you, I intend to change this. The age of deciding our rulers by blood must end. A day will come when anyone can vie for the right to rule, and then we will be free of this wretched system. Anyone can vie for the right to rule. Does she mean through more violence, though? Because people are obviously going to challenge her when she's the Empress. And she wouldn't just willingly give it up, either, knowing Edie. So it's like... Somebody help explain that one to me. What is she actually trying to say there? It's just another one of those moments where her actual ideals are too muddy and too poorly explained. What do you mean by that? Free of this wretched system. I don't, I don't understand what she actually wants. I don't think the writers do either. That's the, I think that's the problem. Like, I might actually be able to get on her side if the writers actually explained what she was about. Because her system in the end could be a good one, but most likely it's not because everything that we're given is too muddy to really know exactly what she's going for in the first place. 
And a meritocracy is not a good political system, I'm sorry, but like, people are always like, oh yeah, well, she's going for a meritocracy, and I'm like, yeah, that's a shitty, <laughs> that's a shitty system. <laughs> so stand with me, help me make it so. A meritocracy is not a good political system, everybody. I'm just going to point that out there, okay? Scarlet Blaze. The Triumph of Valor. The Triumph of Valor. To rescue Count Burglies, Edelgard seizes the Great Bridge of Murden, forcing Count Gloucester's surrender. With no time to lose, she then presses on, unbowed. But Claude is not one to be caught off guard. He rallies every resource at his disposal, determined to tighten the noose around Burglies' forces and prevent any rescue. So we've lost Gloucester. Unavoidable, perhaps, but it still stings all the same. Fortunately, I haven't been sitting on my hands this whole time. If we smash the Imperial reinforcements and stop them from breaking the siege, Count Burglies will have no choice but to give up. We're going to face that challenge, and we're going to face it with the Alliance's latest and greatest, which is why I've asked all of you here. Did you really just say latest and greatest with a straight face? Oh, he said it all right. And while I can't swear we'll have that, we do at least have numbers on our side. Do they? Yep. More than half of the old Golden Deer House is here. I don't I don't feel like um I don't feel like the Alliance has more I, I've always had the impression that the Empire had the largest uh, army. But is that not true? Some of us may not be quite as great as you say, but well, you know best. Oh, I'll have more faith in yourself, Marianne. I'm grateful to you, each poor of sweetheart, you for answering the call. <laughs> it's more than I can say for some of our classmates. Yeah, Ignatz and Lawrence both sided with the enemy. No. <sighs> About that, it pains me to say this, but how Sardelia has made its allegiance to the Empire clear. It was against my parents' protest that I came here in the first place. If this battle doesn't unfold the way you're hoping, I may be forced to leave as quickly as I arrived. That's okay, Lysithia. You're not the only one who's here with strings attached. Yes. My adoptive father has also insisted I return home at once, should the tides turn against us. Sounds about right. Three cheers for that good old Alliance Solidarity. <laughs> I'll fight with you to the end, Claude! <laughs> you got Roth. Uh, unless it puts Maya in danger. <laughs> then I'm out. <laughs> okay, never mind. Maybe you don't what, have Roth. <laughs> what matters is that you're all here, and that we settle this war with the next battle. Also, for full disclosure, I may have sort of brought along some extra professional muscle. Come on in. Is there a girl? Oh, no, yeah, it's Pilot. It's good to meet you. <laughs> I'm the acting captain of Gerald's Mercenaries. I should have known that. I just am so excited to see Judith every time she pops up. And also, y'all in the comments spoiled the fact that Judith does not join the team in their route. And y'all made me sad. It, that, what were they thinking? What were they thinking not making Judith playable? My dreams. My dreams are dying in front of my eyes. Unbelievable. Our guest here is fresh off another battle with the Empire on Kingdom soil. From what I gather, remaining in the kingdom was no longer an option. And that's when our paths crossed here in Alliance territory. Oh, hello. I know <laughs> reliable when I see it, and you are definitely that. Slow down, girl. You just I'll met. I'll do whatever you ask as long as I'm getting paid. So long as we're allied, I won't fail you. Hello. She liked what she saw. All right. 
Let's begin our council. As you've no doubt heard from our scouts, the path from here to Deirdre will be fraught with difficulties. The Alliance has constructed fortalices and palisades, and laid other traps to slow our progress. In addition, they are plotting ambushes at key positions along the way. Needless to say, we will not be able to avail ourselves of the direct route. But if we try to dance around all their traps, we'll never make it in time. Yes, but this is Count Burgley's we're talking about. He could probably stretch his soldiers a few extra days through sheer force of will. I would normally write off such an idea as lunacy, but sadly, it will likely come to that. We have made attempts to smuggle provisions to Count Berkeley's through holes in the enemy lines, but this has met with little success. They must be so hungry! I know just how that feels. The struggle to get food when all you want to do is hide under your covers. Hello, old friend. I mean, no offense, but if time is truly so short, why do we waste it dithering in council? We should embark on our rescue mission straight away! Pull him back, just be smart. How did Hubert put it again? We're here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. So this must be what they were referring to when they said that they, that they had the numbers. It's um, this fight against the Burglies in particular they must be talking about. Because I am pretty sure that the that if they were talking about the overall army sizes, I think the Empire definitely has the numbers. I agree. A hunter must never be losing sight of their calmness. Well said. Let's not allow Claude to wind us up. So we must take the safe route, but do so as quickly as possible. A best of both worlds situation, I suppose. Understood. Good. With that decided, let's move on and discuss our preferred formation. Okay, we got some support conversations. Very good. Um, I also want... Let's take a look. You don't know much about you, Lawrence, right now, but... When the gauge is full, press CR to draw in foes a short distance away. Okay, kind of cool. Um, what does your... What does Thursus do again? Um, let's see. Can I just look at the convoy, please? I mean, I don't even think I can check it on him because he's not in a class that can... Is it? Hold on. Let me just check. Is Thursus... Yeah, Thursus is in here, okay. Magic plus three. And may nullify damage. So since it nullifies damage, even if I'm not in a magic class necessarily, it could still be useful. Okay. He came in at a level 22. And let's check his supports. Okay, nothing. Maybe we won't use him then. Okay. Um, alright. Okay, Balthus has some stuff. Ignatz has nothing with them. Ash had nothing with any of them, right? Ok, 
Okay, Happy has some stuff, so she can stick around, but um, I'm going to be honest with you all. I am considering um, killing off some of these side characters to get them out of my list. Um, I know that sounds awful. We'll act like it never happened. But I don't want this list of units to get so unwieldy that it just makes me setting things up take twice as long. Just because I have to scroll through a bunch of lists for everybody, you know what I mean? They should just have a button for kicking somebody out Another of our list. Another <laughs> clear victory for the Empire in battle. You can surely guess who stole the show yet again. Our mercenary friend? Always a force upon the battlefield, that one. Their approach on the battlefield is exceptional. Yet their curious power has also proved quite the boom. It is deeply fascinating, isn't it? Something beyond the principles of magic, and yet different from the power of crests. I might go so far as to say it veers close to the realm of dark magic, but I fear that's beyond my expertise. I am possessed of some small knowledge, yet still fail to understand the nature of that power. Then at present we can do nothing but throw our hands to the sky. And with that, I must be off. Oh? I thought you would be more curious about our mercenary ally. Would you truly raise the white flag merely because the matter lies outside your usual ken? What are you playing at, Hubert? If you want me to investigate a specimen, go ahead. Hook it and reel it in. Aha, but you are the better angler of the two of us. Furthermore, my method of hooking would complicate our relationship with so valued an ally. An inducement from your lips would ensure things proceed more smoothly. Well, this is becoming a hassle. Can't you push yourself to learn some new hooking strategies? Like, I don't know, one befitting the elegance of a true nobleman? Involving fancy tea, perhaps. Everybody would just think he's poisoning them. A positively hair-raising notion. <laughs> Please, do not speak it aloud again. Nobody would ever trust then that tea. maybe get in their face and pick a fight with them. You two could end up becoming fast friends. So you wish me to shout myself hoarse and swing my fists about like a common ruffian? I shall pretend I did not hear that suggestion. No. Then the only option left is aggressive persuasion. Driven home at the point of an axe, let's say. Linhart, who in the world are you talking about right now? I should think there is no one quite so barbarous in our own army. Hmm? Oh, I didn't have anyone particular in mind. I was just brainstorming new methods to ensnare our illustrious mercenary friend. Why? Did they remind you of acquaintances of ours? <sighs> In any event, let us leave this sleeping dog where it lies. I do not dislike conversing with you, but we seem to procure results of little benefit when we do. And with that, I have matters to attend to and must be off. Farewell. Until next time, Hubert. So when can I expect you to have reeled in our mercenary friend? I suspect we'd make headway on the research if we engaged in it together. I'm afraid I've not the time to play along with your capricious whims, Linhart. I will, of course, be cheering you on with some enthusiasm from the shadows as you hook the subject yourself. All right, word of the day, capricious. Given to sudden and unaccountable changes of mood or behavior. I think that's the only one, right? Yeah, don't worry, we'll be getting more soon. We got 
Eight events and eight trainings to do. This is true. She wants to change the world, does she? How amusing. And what do you think of this idea of hers? Ambivalent response. Let's see. I honestly don't know what I think. I have no idea if it's the right thing to do. I suppose. An understandable response, but there may come a time when you have to draw a line in the sand and take an actual stance for yourself. Oh, I've taken a stance. It's just I can't make Shez say my stance. How's it going? You, the commander I've heard about. The one lifted up from the common folk and given authority? Some folks say that you aren't even from the Empire. Regardless, your being here is good news for me. It means a rough and tumble lady like myself might actually end up with a promotion someday. Ask him what's wrong. How are you doing? You're an Ida House Gloucester now, right? So what's with the long face? Oh, just thinking about what the future will bring. Aww. I'll likely have to fight people I know, and it's just sad. Oh man. I didn't even think about it, but now that Ignatz and Raf are on opposite sides, there's a situation where the two of them could end up fighting each other to the death. And that's really sad, because they're best friends. I would never make them do that. You don't say. Well, as one would expect from the territory of the house that leads the Alliance, Regan is well prepared for any and all possibilities. They've even shown signs of preparing for an invasion of the Empire. You think Claude is plotting something else? Because if so... Yeah, of course he's up to something. <laughs> you thinking Count Gloucester might be doing some behind-the-scenes scheming again? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's not even close to what I was getting at, but sure. Uh, Hanneman and all the others at the Great Bridge of Murden have to stay vigilant. You definitely shouldn't discount that possibility, but knowing the way that these games are structured, it's not happening. Hunger is the true enemy. Okay. We'll do this one. Let's see, Hubert and Happy actually do have things together, don't they? This isn't the best way to get Hubert and Happy's up, though. Yeah, we can do that. Solid, solid. We must look as if we are co likely. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Okay, awakening much faster. I like the sound of that. Uh, we've only got a B rank with you right now, huh? Solid. Okay, one more cooking effect. How did you know this was my favorite? I thank you deeply. No. Did you really? Oh, you did. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Okay, warrior gauge feels much faster. Yep, I like the sound of that. Let's do that one. Nice, I haven't had a perfect in a while on cooking, I don't think. For the last... Come back whenever you're hungry. Ah, it's you. How's it going? Any developments to report? Guess Otto would help. You mean with my power? Not really, no. Hmm. 
Perhaps using it regularly won't be enough to provoke growth. Good to know. <sighs> hey, I thought you said you weren't interested. I mean, how many times are you gonna come ask me if anything's changed before you're happy? Weren't you the one so keen on piquing my interest? I only wanted to check how that was going. If you don't think it's possible, just tell me and I'll stop asking. Dodge the question. It's too soon to say, really. Right, of course. We'll just have to keep trying then. How about this? Describe the circumstances in which you first awaken to your power. Maybe we can reproduce the situation and see if lightning doesn't strike twice. Well, I was staring death in the face when it happened. I'd been beaten so badly I could barely stand. But I kept telling myself I wasn't ready to die yet. Yeah, those are, um... Situations that you don't want to necessarily recreate, huh? Then, out of nowhere, it just... came to me. Hmm. I suppose we shouldn't try to recreate <laughs> yeah. those conditions. <laughs> Nobody wants a dead officer on their hands. Let's consider some other potentially relevant factors. Who was your opponent? Where did the struggle take place? What time of day was it? Do you think your emotions played any part in it? I was fighting the Ashen Demon of all people. I hope we get the chance to cross swords again someday. As for the when and where, we were in a forest at night I'm pretty sure it was a full moon, too. And that leaves my emotional state. But I don't know how I could replicate the intense emotions of being at the brink of death like that. I see, I see. That context would prove quite tricky to simulate. And if your power functions similar to a crest, revealing itself even when you don't intend it... That leaves only one option. Observing you on the battlefield at all times. Ugh, this is turning out to be more work than I signed up for. Suggest he gives up. You don't have to keep doing this if it's too much, you know. A valid point. It seems I'll need to rethink the nature of our relationship moving forward. At some point, I need to go into one of the repeat battles so I can try out some of these characters. I still think it's absolutely stupid that these aren't playable. Like, I don't care about the lore implications of having them on the battlefield with us. It's just like, it's fun to have them. That's why you put them in the game in the first place. So just let us use it in the main story. It doesn't matter if Ray would never <laughs> fight alongside, uh, you know, fight alongside Edelgard. That, it doesn't matter. It's for fun, people. It's for fun. I'm still mad about it. I'm still mad that they put them in the game and then they won't allow you to use them except when you're replaying a mission. Anybody else mad about it? No? Just me? Okay. Excellent. Some say Count Burglis is the strongest man in the Empire. Perhaps he can slay me if we cross blades. Predict who would win in the showdown. Let's see. Now there's a fight I'd pay to see. Can't say who'd come out on top though. Might end up a draw. <sighs> a pathetic outcome. <laughs> All right, he's he's Edge Lord personified, but I still love I still love talking to him. It's always a good time. I don't know. Well, look who it is. Big bad cell sword folks who can't stop talking about. Heard the Emperor went and made you a general, yeah? But that puts some coin in your pocket. Tell him he's right. Mm. Good thing they're paying me all that money, too. I'm gonna have to buy a bigger purse to hold it all. I get you. Huh? Glad to hear it. Also, it sounds like this might be a good opportunity for me to get my debts in order. Hi there. Well, why aren't we advancing more quickly? 
When I think about how Leopold and our allies are in danger, ugh, it really makes me mad. Please! We're going to help them, no matter what. All right. Well, I think we're going to have to do the rest of this explore, uh, explore phase in the next episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.